What's up guys? Welcome to another Build It Break Garage episode. This episode is going to span a total of three weeks. Tonight we is uh, night number one, uh, basically. So me and my dad are actually going on a trip. We're going down to Bowling Green, Kentucky first for the Corvette National Show. That should be a good fun time. Should be able to get some good content for you guys, some Corvettes, something different to the channel a little bit. And then we're leaving Bowling Green, Kentucky and heading to Tennessee to go to Graceland uh, and check out some of Elvis's cars and do stuff like that. So that should be pretty interesting too for you guys. Uh, right now it is currently 11 o'clock. It is Thursday night. We are leaving at 3 a.m. Uh, I'm doing the intro now in the garage just so I don't forget to do it. Should be checking in with you guys in about two seconds uh, when I get into the car and get ready to take off with my dad. Sit back and enjoy and let's get going. Hi right, guys, hopefully you can see me. Oh, I forgot to film, it was like raining. Um, like we're driving through this crap right now. It looks like this is gonna be the whole trip. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a wet one, but I'll check in with you guys when we get to the first gas stop. Well, we made it to Ohio. To think it's only been one week since uh, I was here last. Well, the uh, sun has come out, even though it's stuck behind a bunch of clouds. This is currently the weather conditions that we are driving sucks. in. Sucks. That's my bad. <laughs> so, rain sucks. We're uh, gonna get some feet here shortly, and uh, then we're on our way back to Bowling Green. Well, we made it to breakfast, and uh, we ended up going with Rich's Big Boy. Yeah, so the car is made it here fine, as you can see. So we just sat down, so I'm gonna order up some food and then uh, we're gonna go get gas. We uh, found a speedway right down the street from uh, where we were at and now we are heading off and we have only 244 miles to go. Should be uh, almost there, <laughs> about halfway. So I'll check in with you guys when we get closer. There it is guys, we made it to Kentucky. Uh, well, the sun came out and it's looking a lot better uh, already. Currently, not that you can really tell, but Right over that fence is the UPS World Port, uh, the largest distribution center in uh, the world, I believe. Just wanted to check in with you guys, and uh, we'll be getting down to uh, Kentucky, or we'll be getting down to Bowling Green in about an hour or so. And we made it. Just gotta get all the way over there, and I have to pee like crazy. So that's gonna be first check off the list, and uh, we gotta get the car cleaned up. And we made it. Corvette Central. Wow, that's actually a really cool shot. You can see the Corvette and the beer behind me. That's sweet. Oh, that's so going in. See that? That's that's pretty sweet. Check out all the Corvettes. Hi, right, well we're heading to the wash area right now. I'm gonna run to the bathroom really quick. But we got Rosie all nice and shined up and uh, it's all nice and clean now as you can see. You should have seen it before. I didn't even want to take any pictures of it. It looks so dirty. My dad got pictures of it though. We're just getting her all cleaned up. Uh, I got us all registered for the show. We just got to find Rick now. So we found our parking spot. Uh, we got actually right here in front of the National Corvette Museum. And you gotta check out this car. I love these headlights. This makes this it changes the whole front end of the car, but check this out. Look at that. It looks like a freaking Ferrari. These little eyelid covers. Over there really make it look sweet we're on our quest to go find rick my dad asked to use the bathroom next so we will be heading on into the show we found rick and he's doing his thing a little bit behind the scenes showing what uh he does yeah so we're gonna hang out with rick for a little bit hopefully uh that makes good content for you guys we'll have to walk around and check out some of the cars enjoy so this is the lineup for the cars that are here we got a nice grand sport ZR1, the Z06, nice silver, ceramic matrix gray ZR1, that's running, man, look at that engine cover, I wish you could see the motor, that'd be really nice, oh look, I see the alternator, that's about it, I really wish we could see that motor a little bit better, like, I want to see the internal workings of that, uh, underneath, what's underneath that cover, I've yet to find one online though, checking out some more of the other cars that are around here, I got another Grand Sport, the blue with the silver stripes. I mean, they're all Corvettes. They're all about the same thing, so. But uh, here's a custom, here I think this is Corsa's cars. Pretty wicked looking wrap on this. 
Oh, that hood is outrageous. Another Grand Sport. Show's going good. My dad's just going to grab his credentials so we can get uh, an autograph on some posters. So, so the reason why we come down to this show is to really talk to the people, have fun with Rick. The car, looking at the cars is nice, but I mean, in reality, after you've seen about 50 freaking Corvettes, they're pretty much like all the same. It's a good time talking to all the people, having fun down here. And that's really what uh, it's all about for me and my dad. And this is a time for us to bond, which is really good. All right, so for those who've never been here before, this is the inside of the Corvette Museum. They got the cafe down there. All the vendors are set up around here. And they got the Corvette store. In here they have a whole bunch of clothing accessories and models and all the stuff Corvette related, which is pretty cool. We're gonna follow my dad in here and he's looking for a certain shirt. Hopefully he finds it. But this is everything that you could imagine. All for Corvette. So everything in here is Corvette related. So it's kinda cool. But let's see if I can find myself a model car. So Turn it into a food vlog. Got a pulled pork sandwich from On The Go Barbecue and Grill. I will let you know how this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally we go to Smoky Pig, so hopefully this is just as good. Check this out. Man, that looks really good. I will let you guys know if it's any good in a second. All right, that was some damn good barbecue. Yeah, it was definitely good. That place was awesome. I think it was actually better than where we, where we usually go. So we're just kind of enjoying the show, lounging around right now, and probably get back to the car pretty soon here, and. Uh, Take off to the hotel. So uh, at the dealers or at the uh, museum, they actually are running a special exhibit right now of all the uh, space flown things. Like they have everything from like this was actually flown on STS one, so in the main engine, which is like awesome. They even got this for like shows like a cross section of the uh, engine, how it keeps it cool and everything. This was actually flight flown on Columbia STS one hundred one. Just, it, I'm nerding out right now. This is totally stuff that I love up my alley. And they even got a full size, well, not full size obviously, but they have a partial size Space Shuttle Atlantis. I actually saw Atlantis launch back in 97 uh, actually when I was about 10 years old. And it stayed with me for life and sparked my passion for space flight. Like this thing, that's actually one of the exploding bolts off of the solid rocket booster which is like totally cool. And then these are actually, so I keep it automotive related, these are actually astronaut cars. This one in particular is especially cool because these, this is the car that the space shuttle, or the, um, this, is the, this is the car that the Apollo astronauts actually drove to the launch pad and they left for the moon. So pretty cool stuff in here. Uh, I'm really glad we, we walked through here actually. We got some cool souvenir pictures. Yeah, now we're gonna get in the car and head to the hotel because we are whoop. So this is gonna be a pretty much end for the day here. But uh, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe and we'll be seeing you in the next one. I have, uh, we'll be shooting tomorrow. So it'll be uh, a whole new episode from our trip next week. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.